There's a couple of scenes with Primo where I'm looking right at Primo, and when he's over me on the Primo, I'm making little noises and blowing hair at the dog. So the dog started, you know, he, he didn't understand what was going on. I could, I would go, the dog would go like this. So he was acting, reacting to noises, and you know, dogs are very sensitive smell. So if you just blew lunch at him, he, he's like, after lunch, when you blow something at him, he's like, what's that? And it reads on camera like he's, you know, thinking. And he's not. He's just like, what's that smell? What's that sound? Hmm. I used three dogs during shooting. I used him primarily, basically two dogs. I used Primo for all the close-ups and all the, the major work. And then I had an older shepherd, a girl named Echo, who we used when we needed to do an over-the-shoulder or the dog was lying down or... She'd been a movie dog for 10 years, was very happy to get her paycheck just sitting and lying and placed or what have you. And then we had a third dog uh, that was used for one sequence. For the final uh, dog werewolf fight, um, I wanted to use a real German shepherd attack dog, basically to, to take on that werewolf. I think it was a Russian border, uh, border guard dog. And there actually is a very small shepherd. It's like a miniature shepherd. And when we shot that that day, you know, we had plexiglass over the cameras, though the camera crew were behind special safety reinforcement. And we let that shepherd loose. And I mean, and you see it in the movie. It's the shot in the film at the end where that dog runs across the room and knocked Ken in that suit about 15, I mean, 10, 15 feet.